Okay guys, I'm fully aware that I'm starting every video like this right now and it, it's like, it's, to be honest, it's just insane. I know I say thank you so much and I've said it so much recently, but- Make you cry! Guys, we are on 9.4k. We're so close to 10,000 subscribers. So, like, that is just insane to me. Literally, less than a week ago, I was on, like, 3,000 subscribers. So, it's just beyond, like, anything. I just want to say, once again, thank you guys so much for this insane, like... You guys are insane. You guys are insane. All the support is is so, like, widely appreciated. I spend a lot of time on my videos. Today's video is a little boring, but I spent a while editing it. Like, why is it going on? Yeah, I just hope you guys enjoy the video. Welcome guys, remember to use code RRFETCH in the item shop, for ultimate good luck this season. Wow! Yo guys, what is going on, it's your boy Farfetch here, back for a brand new YouTube video. Today's video we actually have something pretty like crazy that I didn't even know you could do until like a few days ago from now. So I went out on way to try and learn it, and then here I am today trying to give you guys like a tutorial on, on this and how to do it. In today's video we're going to be showing you guys how you can literally get your own custom crosshairs in Fortnite. And like custom sight reticles, so when you aim down your sight you've got the little crosshair in the middle of the screen. You can literally customise that and make it that little more like easier to see, more visible and in t potentially improve your aim. Like, to me this is this is pretty cool so you guys just to stay you guys will probably have to watch the whole video to do this properly so don't like skip bits and like just it, it isn't that easy but it shouldn't take too long so let's just get straight into it so i'm over my um desktop here uh what you guys want to do you want to go to the link in the description it'll be a paste bin link this is a link right here what you guys want to do when you're in the paste bin this it's only on a paste bin so youtube don't ban it you guys want to just copy one of any of these these are just all the same links just different redirections just copy any of these links paste it into a separate thingy and then yeah just do follow the two steps so subscribe like the video and then proceed to target and then what that's going to do is going to bring you to this notepad here it's literally that simple um, and this, these are the links you're going to need for the custom crosshair tutorial. So there's step one, step two, and step three. So yeah, we're going to start off with step one. Um, you guys want to copy this link right here. Straightforward, copy it into um, a new tab. And now what you guys want to do is um, see this right here, like right click it, press open link in new tab, click onto the new tab, copy this address right here. Just copy this little um, new address here. And then you want to go back here, open this link, um, this link here, the pixeler link open that okay guys so what pixel it is it's basically like an like photo editing application like in in some ways a btech photoshop but it's free and for this purpose it's pretty convenient like i have photoshop but just just for you guys you probably don't have photoshop so this is gonna be easier so just press open pixel editor right here when this opens you might have to enable flash player or just say allow in the top corner just that that's pretty easy what you guys want to do is press open image from url right here this is where you then you want to um make sure you've got this link that you previously copied copy that right into this box make sure you highlight this a little bit first so you overwrite that bit Okay, so once you've done that, just copy right there, press OK. It's gonna just then open up this. Ensure that your finger's on um, 1920 by 1080. And then you guys can use um, Control minus and Control plus to zoom in and out. Like so, I'm gonna zoom in to get this perfect. So what you guys wanna do is then go to um, where it says layer in the top left hand corner. Press new layer. And then once you, want, once you do that, you wanna ensure that layer one is highlighted. So you don't wanna be doing it on layer zero. You want layer one highlighted in blue and you wanna make sure you clicked onto that. Then pretty straightforward you want to go right to this um, little tool section here go to the marquee tool right there and then this is where you can literally just be creative you can literally put anything inside this black box and whatever you put in there is going to be your um, reticle or crosshair you can do anything but for the purpose of this video we're going to be going plain and simple so what you guys want to do make sure you select that you want to go to this one right here it's like a little circle one and then just just draw your circle it doesn't have to fit perfectly into the box like i can draw it like there and i can then um, move it after get your paint bucket tool and then select your color by clicking on here this way you're going to open your color selector you can use any color you like so i'm going to go with um i say i'm going to go with, like this nice pink right here press ok and then go like that to color out to just color in the pink press this move tool right here and then this way you can then move it to fit fit um the actual thingy so there you go there it's fit so once, once that's done and you've moved it so it fits perfectly into this black box you're going to go back to the marquee tool just click anywhere and there you go you may have these little pink edges still like here where if you have that you can then press the eraser tool and you can just slightly dab them away i might make this a little bit smaller here um like that and yeah just clear away these pink edges that are just like stuck there from when you moved it so yeah, you can there you go you can literally do anything like that also now once you've done that you can then this is what i'm gonna do you can then right click the layer one and then go to layer styles and then you can add things like a drop shadow anything that just like enhances how it looks anything that really makes it easier to see is just the best so yeah press like i'll do 
can do outer glow, make your harness 10 and then put it onto black. And then this is where you can adjust the size to anything you want. Just like that. So it's just a little bit clearer to see. Now what you guys want to do, once you finish that, you want to go back to a layer 0. Um, and then just remove layer 0. So don't delete it, just untick the box right there. And there you go, you've got your nice little reticle. You could have made anything out of this. You could have literally done a smiley face and it still would have worked. As you know, in fact, just for the part of this video, I'm going to add a smiley face. Okay, there we go guys. A nice little smiley face. Yeah, once you've got your little um, like cross there, you guys want to just go over to file and save. So make sure you save it as a PNG where it's transparent uh, and then press OK. And then this way you can just save it anywhere. I'm going to save it to my desktop and just call it happy reticle and then yeah just save it right there it's an image save okay guys now this is where you want to go back to the notepad and this is the last step where you want to download the program that was here so copy that anywhere into a separate url and now you want to download um custom desktop logo so yeah just press um download right here pretty straightforward it will start downloading once it's downloaded you guys want to press show in folder drag that over to your desktop go into your desktop just put it anywhere i'll would, I'll would, what i'll do is um do new folder drag that into your new folder and then do extract here you guys will need um seven zip or winrar to do this so yeah now you've extracted it open it and then just oh basically open this right here which is custom desktop logo open it out then what will open right here is a coca-cola logo yes i know it's pretty weird so yeah um now you want to go to your little system tray right here where the logo is like in the way um go over to it and then right basically go open it out and right click where it says um little logo for the custom desktop logo press settings and then it'll open up this right here now what you guys want to do is open up two file explorer windows it says what you have to do right here it's just the whole like it's not that easy, I did say that. But yeah, just like, I don't know, right click one of these tabs, press File Explorer. So on this one, you want to find where your reticle is. So desktop, and um, it's on here. It's like right here, happy reticle. While you're here on the desktop, create a new folder here. And just call it, um, I would say, call it the same name as your reticle. So happy reticle or crosshair. And now you want to drag that right into there. So now what you guys want to do, you want to go to this folder that would open when you extracted the custom desktop lo logo like folder. You want to go to this again and open up system. Go to images. Now you want to drag this um happy reticle folder right into there now you can cross out any loose tabs you have open that you don't need and now what you guys want to do go here create image folder go here change image folder and then that's what you exactly what you want to look for it should open out like this anyway you want to look for the happy reticle and then you just want to um press ok and there you go you're gonna have this little reticle open somewhere on your monitor so yeah okay now what you guys want to do to make this actually work as a reticle and overlay your game you want to go to location make sure z level is on top most make sure your display location is on center so it's centers it to your monitor right here and for where it says location offset make sure both x and y are zero so i have to change that right there so we yeah, at zero and now you want to adjust the size just to make this a little bit better so now you want to go to size and i'd go to like i'd say 0.2 if you have a 10 90 20 by 1080 monitor which is what i have 0.2 to be honest is quite small i would probably go with about 0.4 free at the least but what i'm gonna do for this video is um 0.35 i'm gonna go with that but yeah this is more just personal preference overall so just don't, just don't stress it too much i would probably go with 0.35 but it depends on your monitor so now you want to go to the animation and graphics tab like right here and just change your opacity i'd put it on 255 because why not this is just adjusts how you see it and fades it away if you do if you want it like i don't know there's no point having it low so i'll just have it high so i suggest having it on 255 so once you've done that you can just um minimize it right there and when you minimize it it won't actually show it's open like fully it'll just be minimized to your um display tray and you'll have the reticle right there now what you guys want to do it's that simple you just want to open up your game and this will actually work so i'll get back to you guys when i'm actually got my game loaded up so yeah, as you guys can see right now game sort of loaded up and you can see the Reticle is still there. Two hours later. Yeah, as you can see, we're now in a game. Um, and you guys can clearly see that uh the reticle is still here. Okay. Um, yeah, as you guys can see, the reticle's still there. It actually looks pretty cool. A little smiley face. I'm gonna see if our aim has actually improved any what. So let's give it a shot. Pro aim. Got it, boys. Come on. Bro, this aim's just so good. <laughs> As you guys can see, this clearly works. We've got um, the reticle right there in front of us. Um, just to note, you guys will have to play in windowed full screen to do this and pull the reticle to work. But I guess it's not really that much of an issue. So, like, 
it, it is an omission of, of an issue. But yeah, um, if this you did actually stick to the end of this video and actually try it, make sure you drop a like, subscribe, and all that, give all that good stuff. Credit where it's due. I actually got this idea from another YouTuber. I actually forgot his channel name, but that will be linked down below so you guys can check him out as well. But yeah, if you guys did enjoy this video, it was anyone helpful or you watched to the end. Make sure you guys drop a subscribe, turn on post notifications so you never miss an upload. Um, drop a like if you enjoyed, and yeah, it's been your boy Farfetch, and yeah, peace.